We are told this is exactly what it would be like in the last days. And it takes me back to what the Apostle Paul records in the book of Romans, chapter 1, verse 28 to 32. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient, being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whisperers, backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful, who knowing the judgment of God, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. Folks, make no mistake about it. God has given them over to a reprobate mind. I mean, the things that are happening, again, I only cover a very small percentage of things I want to talk about. Uh, it's insane. And it's going to get a lot crazier in the days, weeks, and months ahead, Lord willing. Uh, Jesus is coming soon. We are watching every day on this channel. But all I can tell you is if you're watching this video right now and you don't have Jesus Christ in your life, just look around the world right now at everything occurring and look at what your Bible says. You will see several things are true. The Bible is real. The Bible is alive. Jesus is real. Jesus is alive. And Jesus is coming back. And he is coming back one day very, very, very soon. This current world order, it is sinking and it is sinking fast just like the Titanic. You need to get on the lifeboat right here and right now. That lifeboat is Jesus Christ and him alone. I'm not telling you to get religious. I'm telling you you can be saved right here, right now as you're watching this video. Now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. So what do you have to do to be saved? Well, the gospel of your salvation is found in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 1 to 4. Believe. You're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. The sin that, that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. So you're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins, he was buried, and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. That's the gospel of your salvation. If you're still confused, here's the bottom line. Every single one of us is a sinner. We all miss the mark. We all fall short of the glory of God. And our sin separates us from a holy, a just, and a perfect God. But God loves you so much that he would come down. He would be born of a virgin. He became flesh. He dwelt among us. And he was brutally tortured and crucified and shed his precious blood for you on that cross at Calvary. Again, the sin that, that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross, so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. That is love, my friends. That is love. The bottom line is this. Heaven and hell are very real, literal places, and you will spend an eternity in one of those destinations. Hell's a real place. It's eternal torment. It's eternal separation from God. I don't want you to go there. Jesus does not want you to go there. But if you die without Jesus Christ, you will be separated from God for eternity in hell. And I am going to tell you the truth because I love you. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven. And he's the only name that can save you. He loves you. He loves you so much. And he demonstrates his love for you for what he did for you on the cross. In Romans 5, 8, we read, But God commended his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. The reality is Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven, and he's the only name that can save you. I am begging you, I am imploring you to get saved right now. Put your faith and your trust in the blood of Jesus Christ right now. Believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried, and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. And do it now, because tomorrow is not promised. And make no mistake about it, Jesus is coming, and he is coming one day very, very, very soon. Keep looking up, keep watching with me, and God bless you all.